This is me failing a 300 pound bench press. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I feel decently strong off the chest from doing many years of paused benching, but my sticking point is directly in the middle of the press. To solve this problem, I'm doing something that I've never done before. <sighs> hey everyone, it's Mason with Barbell Black Belt. Today I'm going to be talking about why I began doing banded bench pressing. As I said before, I failed a 300 pound bench press PR, actually on the same day that I did that 500 pound deadlift. You can watch that video here. This failure really pointed out to me a weak point in my pressing, which is my lockout strength. The same thing happened to me when I went for an overhead press PR. I got stuck right in the middle of the movement, telling me that it's not just specific to the bench press. In the past, I've always thought that training one part of a movement, such as the lockout or right off the chest, was a myth. I thought that simply getting stronger on the default movement was key to improving weaknesses. That being said, I'm willing to try new things in order to achieve my goals. First off, here's how I set up my bands. Since my bench doesn't have pegs, I place two dumbbells on the floor just below where I wanted my bands to attach to. I put them in such a way that my bar path would not be affected and that the bands would pull the bar straight down for the most part. Right now in my training, I'm not using that much band tension. I'm using like the second weakest band that I have in the set, but I will use heavier bands in the future as I get stronger with the movement. After one session, I can definitely tell the banded bench pressing works at the lockout strength the most. After only three sets, I was pretty fatigued. I'm excited to see what banded bench pressing does to my triceps. But I don't hit a ton of tricep exercises besides rope pushdowns and skull crushers. So banded bench pressing will hopefully contribute to some growth in that department. So in the next few months of using bands while bench pressing, I will see how my regular bench press is affected. The goal for right now is a 300 pound bench, but I am optimistic for even higher numbers in the future using banded bench pressing as my main tool. If you have done banded bench pressing before, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Is it useful or is it just a gimmick? I'd love to know your thoughts. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe if you want more lifting or martial arts related content. I will see you all next time.